everybody welcome back to Fallout 4 no idea the relief factor is on. yeah yeah good for you good for you let me find because we are heading on to the jewel of the commonwealth diamond city also also Tron. Hmm? Personally, I would steer clear of the sentry bots. Although they do give you fusion cores, like two for each. And if you can find a like a bigger of them, you get like eight fusion cores. There's four. I'm not sure if that's always the case, like they always drop the fusion cores. It would be cool if they do though. Shoot them all, there's just one. The auto pistol is better? Let me see. 19? 14. Oh, the fire rate. I get it. Where's the trip part? Did I... Yeah, I tripped it. Hmm, too bad. Oh, it's Diamond City Security. Looking for Diamond City? Let's follow. Wait. Oh, I thought there was more stuff. Yeah, this is the outer wall of Diamond City. Here we are. Almost there. I feel like I took the long way. Maybe I did. Okay. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Well, hello. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Piper. Sorry. Just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. And that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's gonna get you. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Cameron. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Danny, open up. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. What's that? You said you're a trader up in Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supplies? Jeez, all right. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Who first? Wouldn't have it any other way. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You deviant! 
rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that critter scrapped or barred. Ooh, is that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Pirate mayor, shut down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomers? Do you support the news? Because the mayor threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. I always believed in freedom of the press. So, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. He got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, he comes with you? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just going to stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow everything you go through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help. Thank you. A mayor of a great city makes me a requiem. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't... Now I'm going to get you. I will persuade you. A mayor of a great city. Well, uh, yes. Uh, Second time. Uh, one it's a good charm. Nick Valentine, a detective, of course, who specializes in tracking people down, usually for death or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help? I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security has arrested his daughter? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight, twisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? Get his phone number for him. Okay. Head on inside. Yeah, just let me talk to Danny. You're that trader Piper was talking about. Betty tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Is that right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. I, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. Even if it were up to me, we would have just let you both get in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. All right. What can I say? Good luck. Have a productive day protecting Diamond City. Wait, is Diamond City like the baseball court? Huh. Interesting. Well, it is the biggest settlement around. That's true. Yeah, it is the baseball court. The lights are still working. Paper sales. You know, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go through if we don't replace it. Yeah, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Only so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see an angry politician who's coming our way. What? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> hey, pal. Your paper is newcomers. The instant this grabs you in the night, at least be warned. A free paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. Institute hates people. 
You should read up if you're sticking around. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf den, lady. Yeah, what does it say? The synthetic truth. Public occurrences. Okay. Just there we go. Story of the century. <coughs> Let's talk to Piper. Get this story out and onto the printing papers. Ballpark to become a shanty town. Today's been a bit. It's interesting you mentioning that thing just from a vault. Don't speak of it as if it were us. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in a printer. I think it's time down in the city had a little outside perspective on the common man. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. I'll watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local woman gonna be like that. No, I Piper. <laughs> you ready for that interview now, Blue? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. There. Let's get down to business. <coughs> so I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time in the vault? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, what? They boxed you up in a fridge the whole time? Are you saying you knew we're alive before they were with us? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman had a time machine. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That surprisingly inspired, Blue. You're definitely quoting that. I already know you're looking for a test. Sean, do you suspect the Institute was involved in her kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. Some people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement that Diamond City is your wreck. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the public. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for it? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that that you'll see them again, or at least that you know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't believe we're coming back to visit. All right. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for your head home. All right, and now I can look the place, right? Right. So you're saying my story is gonna get people? It's gonna see people talking about me. I think mostly because I'm over 200 years old. Matt. There we go. Well, don't you have anything better to do than pushing into me? No, oh, honest question. Huh.
I love the personal responses, to be honest. Hmm. Peramor. Hmm. Teen Troubles. Desperate in Diamond City. Deep walking the beat and alone in the upper stands. So these are like responses. Well, no duh. Well, you're gonna take out the Raiders and the Gunners, and the... Uh, well, the Brotherhood can help, but not that much. Now we also have the Institute with the Synths. So, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Big, loud, the corrupt officials and Diamond citizens. But it's fine. Anyone is one of those. We're still Fraser. He bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Excuse me. Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table spots? Wow. Huh. There are no words. I don't care for your tone. Why don't you run along before I make a complaint with the truth? And miss basking in your delightful personality? Do what you like, but I'm done talking to you. You really want me to just shoot you in the back of the head? You really want me to do that? Because I can. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. I just want to talk to you. My name is Shabbat Khan. Do the second table and just say hello. It's all we understand. Tell me a joke. My name is Shabbat Khan. <laughs> no. I know it's your fault, but I want to be here to help the rental informant. I swear to God, I'm not going to do anything about it. My name is Shabbat Khan. No. What? Well, we've been traveling together for ages. My name is Shabbat Khan. Ah, sorry, Blue. The jig is up. Takahashi told me everything. Where the lies? How did you know that? How did you know that? I cannot believe you found that out. Wow. That one's just a good joke anyway. Anyway, just before I head in. Oh, those guys are gone already. I will end the episode here. So, if you enjoyed to see as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.